Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm Brad Hare, your host, and today we're down in the beautiful Texas land cut. We're at the brand new cabin. Uh, we've got the brand new used boat. There's old C9. There's Dougie Fresh. My father is in the cabin. But uh, this thing got blown over by the hurricane, and I wanted to show the new digs. So this is the same size cabin as was here before but brand new and with gobloom on the outside water station is the same way got 255 gallon drums plumbed uh they're gonna they're gonna come uh be fed with a gutter rainwater up there and uh we did this yesterday connected these two we're gonna connect them uh well this is a three-quarter nipple three-quarter hose bib and that is going to be feeding the water which comes through here down and there's a t right there one line goes to the back to the shower the other line goes to the sink uh this has got to be hooked up with a hose splitter here in the middle so that way both tanks are together probably eventually be an, an overflow tank here for extra water uh let's see let's go inside Are you guys just gonna stand here and do nothing Oh, okay. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. You nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, so before this cabin was the same height and there was a step down over there. And now the cabin is higher, but the dock is not. There's Papa Donnie. Hey, how you doing? Uh, this is the sink that we plumbed yesterday. It's just the stainless steel sink from like a kitchen drain we connected with a no hub it goes to the back wall it goes down into the water and then we have essentially the same thing what i'm going to do over at the barrels there is a splitter with a couple of valves on it, it transitions to your upanor which is pex and that goes through the floor uh, so both the hot and cold will work if we want to there's going to be three sets of bunk beds they're not built yet got the mattresses and all that this is a kind of like a little wet bar kitchen area you know like overflow storage coffee pot and all that fish cleaning area that's ice and then this is our shower just a garden hose got another little valve right here and you can put that like this or at nighttime or when the sun's going down throw you some cut bait out there this is the kennedy ranch shoreline there king ranch is that way that would be north port mansfield is down that way so ah uh, let's go to the generator shack everything right now is ran off of a honda generator uh i would like to do some solar eventually but Essentially, what you're doing here is off the grid. Right, Papa Donnie? Right. We're here, but we're off the grid. Right. <clears throat> this here is the generator shack. There's that Honda generator. Actually, it runs really quiet. Um, but I would like the option of being able to... Um, use solar because i think it's you know it's a lot quieter energy you know just when you don't want to run the generator you just plug into a couple of batteries with some inverters inside and there you go here is the toilet <clears throat> so this is a kind of a an outhouse here if you have right and that's that's where you go potty at Oh, almost forgot. Got the big old LED light for catching fish at night. Did y'all catch any fish last night? Yeah, no, not at all. Never caught any fish. <laughs> well, Doug says yes, Chuck says no. But y'all are supposed to get your story straight. Do you want to try it again? You really don't know how this works, do you? 
I hope you enjoyed this episode of Texas Beard Adventures. Do me a favor, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Check me out on Instagram, at Texas Beard Adventures. Me and the wife and the kitties do all kinds of crazy stuff over there. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang ill, bellies.